I'd love first and foremost to have you share anything that you may be excited about. Like what's, what's exciting in your world right now, Josh? Yeah. What, well, what's exciting for me, Justin is, well, on a personal level, a lot of the things that we've built, uh, passive income, a lot of the things that you talk about in your book, a lot of things you talk about in your podcast has really allowed me to have the freedom now uh, to really take care of my dad, right? So this is kind of on a very personal level. My dad was my first mentor. Uh, he was the first entrepreneur that I knew. He, he left a very high paying sales job to start his own business. Uh, started it with a partner, eventually bought his partner out, owned an incredible employee benefits company, ended up retiring. Unfortunately though, my dad is, suffers from pretty advanced Parkinson's and I promised my dad years ago that uh, as my dad got older and if there was ever an issue, I promised him he would never struggle. And I feel like a lot of the moves that I made over the past five or 10 years now is allowing me to fulfill my promise to my dad. Uh, so on a very personal level, even just yesterday, my dad now is to the point where he's, you know, he's having, having trouble talking and walking. And I'm there with my mom, taking care of my dad, uh, being there for him, being there for my mom, who's you know spry and, and healthy, but I do feel like the, the promise that I made there. This is just very raw and real in my mind right now, Justin. So that's why I'm I'm I'm, I'm letting this kind of rip. Um, it allows me to do that. It allows me to coach my kids in volleyball, be there for my kids, and take them to school in the mornings. Take help take care of my father, who really needs a lot of help now, all because of. Uh, a lot of things you talk about in your book, the lifestyle investments, the things we do with apartments. Um, so although I've had a lot of investments I'm excited about, I feel kind of privileged now with my dad's advanced age to be there and support him when a lot of other guys might have a corporate job and be flying all over the world and be pulled, pulled away because of their job. I kind of come and go and help take care of my dad whenever I want to be there, whenever my mom needs help. It's the most important work that I do today is taking care of him. And so I'm excited about that. And as we record this at the end of the week, uh, kind of reflecting on that as I kind of wind the week down. Well, thanks for sharing. And, and really just thanks for being so open uh, about that. I know that it, it, it's tough when you see these, you know, I, I see this in my own life, right? Where you, you've got your father who you have all this respect for, but um, you can see as they're kind of falling apart just a little bit more. You know, it's, it's tough to see the, yeah. the hero struggle the way that they are, but it's also rewarding to be able to help out. And I just, I love how you have built your life and, and you've created this freedom, this lifestyle. So A, you can pour into, you know, your dad, but B, you can be the dad to your kids that he was to you and yes. hopefully even better, right? To do, to find a way to do it better. We're all going to fail, but if you can do just a little bit better than what you experienced, I think that's a, a major win. Uh, so kudos to you and, yeah, and great job, you know, right. building that lifestyle. 